what is going on to all of my Aquarius out there. So let's get into it. <laughs> Hope you all are having a great day. All right. So for you, Aquarius, you have the Ten of Cups, the Temperance, then you have the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, <laughs> and the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> so y'all already know what the Page of Cups means. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here for a lot of you is the Ten of Cups, the Temperance, the Five of Pentacles represents how this is a situation for you where what you need to do is... Oh, got you. Okay, so the the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands, right? The, the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands is about how... Um, okay, let's go back. The Ten of Cups, the Temperance, the Five of Pentacles. You're out of there. You're, you, Aquarius, don't want anything to have to do with those people who you've decided that you're not going to date, continue to even speak to. You're out of there. You're done. You're, you don't even want to speak to them, talk to them, none of that. And they can't deal with that. The King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, yeah, they're trying to do as much as they possibly can to get your attention. They want to get your attention. So what they're doing is they're trying to text you, uh, call you, get on your nerves, antagonize you, be, you know, adversarial to you where they, you know, want you to be an enemy just for you to be able to give them attention. And it's kind of and it's sad. It's sad. Instead of people just go do their own thing, it's sad. The, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups, however, represents some of you Aquarius may have uh, went back. You may have started to talk to them again, you know. Um, some of you may have talked to them in the, in the sense of uh, even in an argument, even a, even a disagreement. My advice to you Aquarius would be don't even try to get into a disagreement with them. Because the King of Wands was essentially their plan to where if you can't be in their life because you you walked away, you realize that these people are too dysfunctional even for their own good. So now they got to do things to antagonize you. Some of you Aquarius may have, you know, gotten yourselves into the trap with them in a sense of began talking to them. What do you want? What it is that you need to do in that situation, Aquarius, is do not talk to them at all. Don't say anything. Don't tell them that you're not. Don't even tell them why are you doing this. No, just don't tell them anything. Don't say anything at all, ever. Because that was the whole point of what they wanted in the first place. To get your attention. The Knight of, Now, the Six of Pentacles is because... They're entitled to your attention. This is how delusional a lot of them are. They feel entitled to your attention. They feel entitled to your time. They want to get all up in, on, and around your time. What are you doing? They want to get all in your business. How are you spending your day? And if you give this to them and you say, okay, good, right? Because this is the Five of Cups. And then you have the Knight of Cups, which has one cup on it, right? Five, five plus one is six. So if you get back together with these people, understand that ultimately that is your own choice. Would I suggest for you to do that? Absolutely not. Because who says that they really learned anything? Who says that they, who says that they've really learned anything at all? Who says? Who says? The Six of Cups, the, the Page of Pentacles, because some of you Aquarius may have gone back to these people, right? But then you have the, the Page of Pentacles. You have decided to try to give this relationship 
one more try. For some of you Aquarius, you're like, nah, the tries are done. And this is you moving, still moving forward without them. Now, this is where things get tricky because this is essentially two readings in one. So I got to essentially read two readings, <laughs> two versions of this reading <laughs> in one video. So let's clarify some cards. If you're finding value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Um, there's a link in a comment section called Linktree. Click on it. It'll redirect you to a website that has my social media outlets and the ways that you can um, support me from the books that I have that are on Amazon. Yes, I am an author. My Instagram page, you can always uh, click on the Instagram where it says Instagram. Follow me there. Uh, send me, you know, DM. Let me know, you know, you found me. That would be appreciated as well. Um, my clothing store, we have hoodies, we have shirts. We have coffee mugs. I'm, I'm trying to work on some other merchandise. My course, just in case if you don't necessarily want to pick up the book, uh, you know, but um, y'all don't necessarily want the relationship course. So I'll just probably put it in the form of a book. Um, and then you have private tarot readings. It'll And it'll say all of these things, right? Amazon, private tarot readings, clothing, Instagram. It'll say all these things so that so that it's not very difficult for you to bypass. But the point that I'm trying to make here is uh, go to Private Tarot Readings there on my website, which is my website. You'll be able to see all of the um, services that I provide as far as uh, Private Tarot Readings, Birth Chart Readings, Relationship Course, Wealth Course. And what you do is that it also will show the time, how much I charge for the time. And it also gives you a description so that that way... <laughs> You know, people don't have to wonder what exactly are they getting. Um, if you need help with that, then you can always email me at kareemspurworksyahoo.com. So, um, oh, I am available to do private readings today. Come through. Why not? Right. So. Uh, OK, so. Let's clarify. So let's clarify the King of Wands. Let's clarify the King of Wands. One more shuffle. Okay. So to clarify the King of Wands, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the uh, Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want your attention. They want your attention very much so. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is they want to be able to pick and choose how, when, and where they can interact with you and how they have you. So in other words, they want to use you like a toy. Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional. They want to use you, you know, they want to essentially take you out of the box, play with you for a little bit, and then put you back in the box. Like a doll or, or an action figure or something like this. These people, what world are these people living in? They're so delusional. This is not how the real world works. But they're trying they were they're trying to do that with you. That's the reason why they were calling and texting. And for some of them, maybe even have come come by, knocked on your door. Talked about how they try to, you know, they're trying to be cool with you again. Talked about how sorry they are, how they didn't necessarily mean to do the stuff that they did. And yes, they did. Yes, they did. That's the reason why it is that they did it in the first place. The Queen of Cups and the High Priestess represents it's just that for you, Aquarius, you, Aquarius, supposed to, you're supposed to not care, right? Some of you don't care, right? And maybe. For some of you said for, for some of you Aquarius, you actually decided to kind of check out their social media page. Remember, I'm reading for I'm re remember I'm reading for two versions or two separate current time slash futures all in one reading. So if it seems like I deviate, it's because I'm reading for two separate energies. So pick which one which resonates with you. So 
The three of pentacles now represents as a result. For some of you Aquarius, the ones that aren't going back, you realize what it is better now, what it is that you're looking for. And you realize these people are not it because look at them. They have to stoop to the level of trying to get you on your nerves and getting you aggravated in order for you Aquarius to lose your cool, lose your patience and, uh, you know, to, to somehow start wilding out on them and say something or whatever, because they're so desperate to get attention from you. The three of pentacles, some of you, of course, may find that, may find that cute. <laughs> now, I don't know. I don't necessarily see how you find it cute, but I'm part Aquarius myself. And I still don't think how you find it cute, but I understand the premise, right? That a person is that riled up to get you back. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. You have the Knight of Cups. So we got to draw four more. Two of Swords, Knight of Wands, Hierophant, Page of Cups, because we can't clarify a card with the same card. So the um, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, the Page of Cups. This is about how a lot of you um, happen to be in a situation where what's next is, is that for, for you, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Page of Cups is about how You're again, you're paying attention to them. You're paying attention to them being responsive, trying to get your attention, trying to be reactive. The Hierophant in the Page of Cups is that some of you will decide to um, engage with them, you know, and even ask, you know, start to try to get into conversations, trying to answer, excuse me, trying to come up with an answer. Why are they doing this? Why are they so caught up? We're trying to get your attention, even though the two of you didn't necessarily work out the first time. For some of you, you will completely ignore them and they will completely continue to try to get on your nerves with no avail. Remember, I'm reading two separate readings. So in one video. So let's clarify the six of cups. Let's clarify for the Six of Cups. <laughs> so to clarify, you have the um, Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and last but not least, the Two of Wands. So the, three, the Six of Cups, right, is... To clarify it, we have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So these four cards represent, for some of you Aquarius, you could be blaming yourself and want to give these people another try and look at it and be like, you know, um, you know, I, how do I say this? Oh, okay. I get it now. I'm Okay. You could be trying to talk to them, trying to find out why it is that they did that, but you're not necessarily trying to be in a relationship with them either. <laughs> you're not trying to be in a relationship with them either. You're just more so trying to, you know, you're you're more so trying to just find out or get to the bottom of why it is that they're doing what they're doing. They're misperceiving it like you're interested in them and you want to get back together with them. The Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands represent, okay. <laughs> For some of you, Aquarius, you'll directly tell them, forget about you. For some of you, Aquarius, you may take the time to get to know why their mentality is like this and analyze them and study, i.e. study them before you decide to move forward. For some of you, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands represent, um, like I said, you'll take the time to get to know them, to take the time to get to know why they did what they did. What I mean when I say what they did was is give you a difficult time 
while you were in a relationship with them, which is not the wisest thing in the world to do, because why do you need, why do, why do they feel the need to treat someone who's treating them re with respect like trash before you leave them alone? <laughs> before you let them go and you're like, look, I don't have anything to, I don't want anything to do with you, potentially even ghost them. <laughs> you want to at least know, well, why are they even doing this? So some of you Aquarius may, may take a walk on a, on the bad side for a little bit and may even tell them, you know, I'll get back to, or, or. If you don't tell them that, you may act like you're trying to get back together with them, which is very, very amusing, according to this reading, if you ask me. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. The sun, the star, the justice, the empress. So... The sun and the star card represents um, you, you Aquarius, giving your value, and the star card represent Aquarius. So this is you looking at it like, nah, you're still not getting back together with them. Whether you're wh whether you hard flat out told them no, or whether you were soft with it, where you tried to get to understand why they were doing what they were doing, you still told them. You still you still you still ghosted them so it was still a no anyway it was still <laughs> they didn't get what they want because you're because you Aquarius have moved on you want to only interact with people who are functional you know especially at a time like this and the justice and the empress both of these represent Libra so they got what it is that they deserve because they ain't want you the first time if they wanted you the first time around then they should have acted like they had some form of common sense they didn't do that. They gave you a very difficult time the first time. So now they have to learn to, you know, figure out life without you. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 10, subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, we have 4,900 subscribers. Y'all, we're almost halfway there. Come on, y'all. Smash that subscribe button and watch the video. <laughs> Love y'all though, right? Smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos, yo. Love y'all. One.